Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna be painting this square uh, with red, white, and black. And we're gonna be using uh, one of these silk screen scrapers. And the reason I'm gonna be doing that is because I, I created this piece uh, last year. Oh, I got some paint on it. Um, and it's a very minimalist piece, right? It's, it's not very exciting. Uh, let me bring it down, there we go. Um, you can see it's just three layers black, white, and red. And this was done with gloss enamel, but I, I really love this piece. It's just very, very minimalist, but it's got almost a lot going on. It's, it's always been one of my favorite pieces that I did. And doing it with gloss enamel is cool, but I wanted to see if I could do it with acrylic. So we're gonna try that today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with black and we're going to do the background just normal. We're gonna use a regular brush. Um, I probably will use a little bit of water. So I'm actually gonna take some water, stay hydrated, but really I'm gonna put it in this uh, little spray bottle here. So, and throw that in there. Now I'll the rest. Okay. So we've got some water to help us kind of spread this thin out or thin this, this paint out. That painting, uh, the paint was very thin. So, you know, I, I don't remember how thin I, I got it, but it, it wasn't very thick um, and I didn't use a lot of it. So we're going to see if we can kind of uh, recreate something like that. So we're just going to spread our black out here and we're going to cover the whole canvas. really just kind of want to bring the paint to the edges. I don't really need it to uh, to go too far over the sides, but So we're going to use that to kind of pull this out. Really just kind of get the most out of it that we can. Just kind of even it out here. That's a little dry right here, so let's just kind of break that up here and see if we can get some even strokes here to really just kind of smooth it out. Okay, so we've got that. And now this essentially is where we would uh, wait for it to dry. I don't know how long it would take to dry. I don't, it's not super hot, but it's not that cold either. Um, so I'm wondering if, uh, you know, maybe I should hit it with the heat gun just to kind of push the process along. And I think what I did uh, before to like for the other painting, I didn't really wait for it to dry. I think what I did was I just kept kind of brushing it until it was dry. So I'm gonna actually going to do that here and I'm gonna use one of these uh, edge painters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep going over it over and over again until it dries. I 
I guess I could probably move that stuff out of the way. So here we're just thinning the paint out. We're kind of uh, kind of creating a design in the painting already. But we're just drying this paint out. Oh my gosh. So that's probably pretty good. I actually really like just the, the really minimalist look of that, actually. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Uh, most of it's dry. There might be a few spots that are, but we're gonna move on and we're gonna move into our white. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and just kind of put uh, just a line of white really at the top. And that's all the white we're gonna use. And we're gonna try to thin that out across the whole painting um, to just give it a really thin look. Now, the, uh, the only issue with doing this is that the canvas isn't flat. So it kind of bends into the middle. Um, so it's not gonna be even all the way across is, is kind of the point that I'm trying to make. And now we'll do the white and we'll pull it back a little bit to the edge and then we're going to come up over the edge. All right. I don't know. I kind of already like the aesthetic of it. Um, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take this, and we're gonna rotate it, because we already have the paint going the same way. And I guess we could technically follow the same way and probably get, uh, you know, just almost like a Gerard Richter look to it. Um, but if we pull it the other way, I think it would give it a little bit of uh, dynamicness. So we're going to go ahead and rotate it, and we're going to put the paint the other way. And again, we're not using a whole lot, just really just enough to kind of be liquidy. <clears throat> and then we're going to, we'll go about halfway, we're going to pick up the paint, put it to the edge, and I'm going to move that a little bit over that, and then we're going to now I'm just kind of giving it like a medium pressure here all right so I think that the red just barely wasn't enough but the problem is is that if I keep going over it those colors will blend too much together um, and then we'll lose the red. It will start to turn pink. So it's kind of a gamble. We, we might get more red out of it, but then we might also lose some of the red. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to, we're just going to run the risk. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit more just because I want it to be a little bit darker. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the risk and we're going to add the paint. We're going to go over it one more time. We're going to pull that through. Okay. All right. So I do like that. Uh, there's a lot of breakup in the colors. You can see the three distinct layers. I kind of, I really do like that actually. All right. So then we're going to move over here and we're going to push the paint out to the end. And then we're just going to pull that paint through. All right. So this tells you that we don't have enough paint kind of going through. Um, 
this is why you see the, the huge buildup here and then it almost dies off. So we're, we're gonna stop real quick and add a little bit more to kind of pull that through to see if we can get it to the end. <clears throat> All right, so now the only issue we have is this, um, this little line. Again, it's because this doesn't uh, go all the way to the edges. So we can try to fix it by running through the middle, but then that's also going to create beams on each side. So there, there's honestly not a whole lot we can do about it. Um, the only other suggestion or solution, I should say, is trying to use a scraper like this, which is like 18 inches, so it's just shy. Um, but it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna leave kind of the, the little mountain there. So we can kind of do one of two things. We could try to pull the colors through again and just pull them a different way and then try to do it again. Uh, either way, we're kind of kind of screwed on using a scraper that's not the same size as the surface because of that. This is why, you know, Gerard Richter kind of makes the sizes that he does because the he uses scrapers that are the size of what he's scraping, if that makes sense. So, uh, give me a second here. I'm gonna see if I have really anything to use. Um, let's see, I do have a sheet of plexiglass. We used the plexiglass last week, or in the last video. So, what to use? I don't think that I have any scrapers that are wide enough for this that aren't the plexiglass. So we may end up having to use it anyway. All right. So give me one second. Okay, so I got the plexiglass here. It's really the only solution I have um, because again, the problem is that if I keep using something that's not the same size, it's going to leave this little line in the middle and that drives me nuts because it's kind of a, a separation of the piece. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I was thinking about adding some more black and then pulling it back through here to kind of see what that would look like. It may ruin the painting, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and risk it. So we're going to do a thin line of black across the top. And then we're just going to pull it through and see how it, how it does. So we're going to put our surface down. We're going to go back to the edge to, to kind of push that paint to the edge. And then we're going to pull it through. It's getting stuck on the last part. <sighs> okay. Oh, I hate that it suctions at the end. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I am actually really kind of excited about the way that this turned out. I'm going to rotate it this way because I always kind of just love when the flow goes this way. Um, 
Yeah, uh, actually pretty excited about it. It's uh, it's more dynamic than I was hoping. It's it's more, you know, it's not as minimalist as the piece that I showed you at the beginning. Um, but I really do like the layers, actually. Uh, we've got a lot of movement, and there's a lot of, like, kind of cascading red and black. And, you know, you can see the white uh, underneath, both on the top, but underneath as well, almost as like a, kind of like an accent. Uh, so give me a second, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off, and I'll show you the piece. <clears throat> and you see, I'll zoom out. There we go. All right, so this is the final piece. You see my beautiful reflection. Let's see if I can kind of go down low and see, show you guys. Nope, that's not helping. Okay, so that's probably about the best that we can get. So I'll take a snapshot. And so yeah, this is it. There is the white in the background, and then we've got the the black layer. It's funny because we have this like line right down the middle um, of like separation, but that it almost like it's like it separates the piece into two different kinds of pieces because you've got a lot of these like round pieces over here and then over here it's like the scrape with almost like the fade so i don't know it's kind of interesting and it doesn't bother me as much as i thought it would and then of course we have the highlights of white so you've got these really dark pockets in the middle the red across the bottom the white across the top i don't know i actually really like the piece it's not exactly how i was you know trying to make it but not bad so pretty impressed with this uh gerard richter installed painting um and yeah i'm just just really happy with it but uh that's it for the video this guy guys i hope you enjoyed if you did you know let me know if you didn't that's okay let me know uh but i'll see you guys in the next one take care god bless and i'll see you then bye guys